But did we push it too far? Let's find out. Guys. It worked. I am about to change your life for the better forever. And no, that is not clickbait. We've already clicked on the video, so it can't be clickbait. But this book hack is as big of a game changer as any that I have ever stumbled upon. And I had to make a video about it immediately. So on TikTok the other day, I did a video about things that book readers do. And in one of the comments, someone mentioned, you don't need to crack the spine, because here I am reading my books, trying not to break the spines. And someone commented saying, just train the spine. You don't need to crack it. So immediately, I was intrigued. So the first thing I did was run upstairs, get on my computer and did a little bit of research and it turns out that is true. And not only is it true, librarians have been doing it for years. So my question is, why didn't they teach us this hack? All right, enough chit chat, let's get to the hack because this one is gonna blow your mind. Now, before we actually get into the hack, and I'm gonna do it all in front of your eyes, the reason we do this is not only to not break the spine, that's just an amazing benefit, but it also increases the shelf life of paperbacks because there's a lot of glue and sinew and all sorts of things that hold the book together within the spine. And when you just leave it on your shelf sitting there for many, many years, it deteriorates and the glue gets hard and stiff. And then when you do go to spread the book, it cracks big time. So what we're looking to do is make sure we get a good even spread, open it up, break up the glue and get a much better shelf life for the book. And no more crack spines. All right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Now, the first thing I wanna say is you have to do this process very gently and very carefully. We're all gonna to wanna to spread it as much as we can, but if we do that, we're gonna crack the spine. This is a slow, gradual, steady process, and this is how it goes. So the first thing you do, spine on the table, book facing up, and don't worry if it moves around a little bit and is a bit floppier than this one. As long as you keep it upright with the bulk of the book here, you're doing the right thing. Step two, open, from the edges, okay? And very gently spread them out. From there, we're just gonna take it a few pages at a time and continue this process. Now, when you first start doing this, it's gonna feel like it's gonna take forever, but it doesn't. It's a lot quicker than you're expecting. You just have to be slow and steady. Don't rush the process. So as you can see now, we've sort of reached a point where the spine is lifting up a little bit. It wants to curve, but we're going so gradually, just two, three, four pages at a time. Nice and easy, slow and steady. I know I've said that a lot of times, but I really want to reiterate it. Here's your progress report so far. Absolutely no cracks. Now something very, very important that can be overlooked is when you're doing this, make sure you don't read the pages through the book because you might just spoil for yourself. So a nice little trick, not something I've done now, but a nice trick is to do it with the book upside down. So you can't actually read the words because it's upside down. Now, as you can see here, we are really getting to a point, as you see when I press down, that book is spread. Look at that spine curving. You don't have to press the pages firmly flat. Just make sure you're doing it delicately. And again, I know I've said that a hundred times, but do it. And the harder you're pushing, the bigger risk you're taking, because if you think about it, the downside is you're cracking the spine. So you don't want to take a risk, push it a little bit too far and have a creased spine. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Now, as you get slowly closer towards the middle, you wanna be actually more gentle. Your instinct is gonna tell you to push it down harder. Do it the opposite of that. Now, apparently librarians have been doing this for years and just kept it a hidden secret from the rest of the world because when I posted on TikTok, that video blew up to about 300,000 views and counting with something like 75,000 likes. So. Uh, most people did not know about this, and I certainly did it. So, do with that information what you will. We are so close, oh my goodness. And there it is, the last page, the last spread. And it looks like I'm really pushing, but I'm not. I'm just going slightly past its point of resistance, and already, 
I can see much better into the middle of the book. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I can see much closer to the middle. So let's have a look. So far, has it worked? This book looks completely untouched. It looks perfect, not a crease in sight. So now what you wanna do is just give it a little bit of a move around, you know, open the pages, spread the book out, still being very gentle, fan it out. Now, because I'm a crazy person, I'm actually gonna repeat the process and I'll put it in very fast motion for you and we'll have a look again and see if it made any difference at all. And this time, just in the earlier stages, I'm gonna be fractionally more aggressive, not throughout the entire process, but because I've already gone through once so far, especially during the early stages where the spine's actually not bending at all, I'm gonna give it a little bit more flex and I'm gonna put a little bit more pedal to the metal. Okay, so now I'm really getting close to the middle and the spine wants to arch a lot. So I'm going very gently, just as gently as I did the first time because I think that the work has been done on the outer pages. Last one, we're into the middle of the book and you can see how much easier I can get to the middle of the book. I do not need to crack that any further. That is more than spread enough. And as you read through the book, you'll find that the glue breaks up more and more as you go. So you'll actually find it easier and easier to get to the middle of the book. And just have a look at the difference we have made going over for a second time. But did we push it too far? Let's find out. Guys, it worked. Check that puppy out. Not a crease in sight. Have a look at that. Not a crease. And look at the spread. This is a game changer. This has changed everything about my books. My bookshelf gonna be looking hella beautiful now because I don't have to crease any of my spines. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me. It's been a damn pleasure. If you wanna find me on TikTok, it's Dan's Books. I have a lot of fun on there, lots of fun clips. Built an amazing following. This video alone got 300,000 views and growing. So if you want to go over there, I can't wait to see you. Catch you next time. See ya.